Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Boulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and senior officials, the senior advisor to the U.S. President Donald Trump, Jared Kushner and his accompanying delegation upon their visit to the kingdom. His Majesty the King affirmed the kingdom's pride in the depth of strategic relations with the United States, expressing thanks to the U.S. administration for its continuous efforts that aim to promote security, peace and stability in the Middle East. His Majesty welcomed the U.S. President Senior Advisor and reviewed with him the course of bilateral cooperation which is based on a history of distinguished relations spanning more than 120 years and military cooperation for more than 75 years. He noted the development of Bahrain-U.S. relations in all fields in light of the joint keenness to consolidate the foundations of these relations for the benefit of the two friendly countries and people as as well as the security and stability in the Arabian Gulf. His Majesty the King affirmed that Gulf stability and solidarity relies on the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, to achieve stability and prosperity in the region. On the occasion, His Majesty hailed the historic stances of the UAE in defending the affairs and interests of the Arab and Islamic nation and its endeavors to reach a fair and comprehensive solution that guarantee the Palestinian Palestinian people obtain their legitimate rights and achieves lasting peace in the region. His Majesty asked the U.S. President's senior advisor to convey his greetings to the President and his wishes of health and happiness and to the U.S. government and its people for their progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received senior advisor to the President of the United States, Jared Kushner. His Royal Highness hosted a lunch banquet during the senior advisor's visit to the Kingdom. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Sayani, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the victory of Bahrain Pride in the British Ripen Horse Race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that Team KHK race has made several achievements thanks to the support of His Highness Sheikh Khalid, Sheikh Nasser of that this victory will motivate Bahraini athletes to make more achievements in international championships. His Highness expressed his wishes for further success in future championships. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to implement a package of service development projects in order to achieve the goals of sustainable development, the Ministry of Works commenced the first phase of development of Sheikh Hamoud bin Sabah Avenue in Rafah in the Southern Governorate. Minister Khalaf stated that this project will link Rafah Avenue with the East Rafah and Hnainiya and will serve areas that are done populated. Khalaf affirmed that the ministry is working on developing the road network throughout the kingdom to achieve the Bahrain's economic vision of 2030 and to meet the needs of the citizens and residents to sustain the traffic flow and raise the levels of traffic safety. Labor and Social Development Minister Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan issued a circular to all training institutions that includes the basic precautionary requirements that they must take with the resumption of training during the pandemic. The minister affirmed that the gradual resumption of the training process comes within the framework of the public interest requirements in reviving the training sector due to its importance in investing in human resources. The circular stated that the owners of training institutions 
institutions, members of the administrative and training staff and all trainees must adhere to the health ministry directives to prevent the risks of the spread of the coronavirus. Precautionary measures include taking the temperature of all employees, the training staff and the trainees on a daily basis, sterilizing all shared tools and facilities before and after use, ensuring social distancing and limiting the number of trainees to 10 individuals per class, in addition to providing face masks and banning snacks and drinks at the facility. The circular encouraged the continuation of virtual training as the best option during the challenging conditions. The Minister of Health, Faiqa Saleh, chaired the first meeting of the committee to select the winners Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Award for Bahraini Doctor, adding that the kingdom is currently establishing a jury of renowned medical experts. Al Saleh expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, for his noble initiative, which had a strong impact on Bahraini doctors and was lauded by regional and international organizations such as the World Health Organization. The establishment and formation of a secretariat and a jury committee for the award were discussed during the remote meeting. The proposed schedule for the committee's meetings was also discussed as well as the evaluation criteria for the winner's selection process. The Minister of Information and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, Ali bin Mohammed Ramehi, chaired the Institute's third regular meeting held remotely in the presence of members of the Board of Trustees and the Institute's Executive Director, where they discussed the achievements of the programs in the last phase and reviewed the developments of the remaining plan for the Institute for this year. The Minister affirmed that the Institute's achievements, in light of the exceptional circumstances of the coronavirus, virus pandemic have been made by continuing to implement and approve of approved plans and programs and actual participation in national efforts to limit the, eff the effects of this pandemic. During the meeting, the board members hailed the achievements of the Institute in the last phase, where they implemented 45 various activities, benefiting 4,577 participants. The meeting also reviewed the implemented programs that contributed to enhancing their institute Institute's goals and the mechanisms followed in implementing programs through using modern technology in holding events in accordance with the decision of the Executive Committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and in line with the precautionary and preventive measures taken to limit the spread of the virus and based on the recommendations of the National Task Force to combat the coronavirus. They also reviewed a number of programs and events that the Institute intends to implement. The chairman of the Board of Trustees of King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Sheikh Dr. Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, lauded the speech of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the conclusion of the Ashura season for the Hijri year 1442, expressing his deep appreciation for His Majesty's unwavering support for all religious rituals. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the success of Ashura season was the result of the royal patronage to the people as well as the directives of His. Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the cooperation of all the government's bodies. Sheikh Khalid reiterated that this year's Ashura season embodied the Bahraini spirit of peace, compassion and coexistence. The Ministry of Health has said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,735 with 393 recoveries, 398 registered new cases. 120 of the new cases were detected among expatriate workers, 270 are contacts of active cases and 8 are travel-related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.